Good morning, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Paul Caritas, just giving a quick update uh, in regards to the uh, mind machine experiments. So I've already done a video with the dowsing rods, also one with the tetrahedral pyramid. The one that I did after the tetrahedral pyramid was the energy wheel. So basically, it's not hard to make an energy wheel. So you can make one out of a piece of rubber, a needle, so about two inches long, and you just stick the bottom side in like so, and then you just cut a little square piece of paper. The dimensions aren't really that important, so it could be, you know, two, inch, uh, two inches on each side, two inches long on each side. Um, you fold it at two points, so you fold it like this and like this and so it kind of looks like a like a little wheel and then you just rest it on top and if you've cut the sides evenly it should balance like that and then and then it's ready to rotate so basically you move it you're supposed to move it with your mind so you take it somewhere so far away from any current Put it, put it on the table and then you can have your hands a small distance away or you can, you know, within about an inch of the actual rotor and you concentrate on moving it and it moves. So the conclusion that I came to with this experiment was that there were two different types of energies that, that are involved. One subtle uh, and mental and the other one electromagnetic and you can read about that experiment on www.paulcaritas.net the one after that was the pendulum experiment this one was really fun uh, so basically a lot of people use the pendulum uh, to discover bits of information, bits of knowledge about themselves or about other people um, it's quite easy to make one I describe how to in the pendulum experiment on my website so if you're interested have a look um, and then once you've got it happening you just tie it around your hand and you ask it questions as you would your significant other uh, so ooh, it broke <laughs> so, <coughs> so basically um, you can ask anything anything you like and it'll give you a response uh, what I found with the pendulum was that uh, it only basically responds or it only gives you answers to what is already contained within your conscious or unconscious, if you like. So it's not going to be able to tell you things that are out of your sphere of knowledge. Um, you know, for example, how many galaxies there are in the universe. Uh, and the final one that I've done thus far is the symbol experiment. And uh, this one was quite interesting uh, because it goes against the grain of what we consider to be true about the world and about the universe and about how things work, the mechanics. So you just draw, you get two pieces of paper and you draw a spiral, a clockwise spiral, an anti-clockwise spiral. This one is the anti-clockwise spiral. So when placed against this shoulder or this shoulder, it's supposed to strengthen your muscle. So if you do a, a shoulder strength test and you hold it there and you get an experimenter to push your arm down, it should take them uh, a lot longer to push your arm down. It should, in other words, it should take them more force to actually push your arm down than what it will uh, minus this or with the clockwise spiral, which basically has the opposite effect. It actually weakens you. So you can try this test out for yourself details again are on my website www.paulcaritas.net and uh, it'll describe the experiment and how I about, went about doing it so this one was a really good one really interesting and the one that I'm currently doing of course is the time experiment which examines uh, precognition and uh, what I found with that thus far I haven't published the results yet is that precognition obviously exists um, and it's a lot more common than we, what we think. And in that study, I also examined serial time, which is Dunn's theory. 
so basically I'll have that published hopefully by the end of the month. So I still have some, uh, if you're still interested in taking part, you can be a late addition. So you, all you have to do is just email me, uh, paul at paulcaritas.net and I'll send you an, a, a form, a participation form, uh, which details how to go about doing it. It's about a three or four, four day trial um, where you'll record your dreams in as much detail as you can upon awakening, awakening and then basically compare it with waking experience to see if anything of the dream actually eventuated in real life. And then you'll pass the results to me for a simulation into the study. So if you're interested, send me an email. I uh, also have a competition that's attached to the time experiment, which I'll be publicizing once I publish the results. So stay tuned and I'll talk to you very soon.